with respect to indigenous uh, legacies in the Caribbean, uh, there is the myth that, that this myth of extinction, as you mentioned, Alex, and you know, um, we're not willing to accept that. I mean, there are people like yourself, others uh, that who are involved here who are self-identified as Tainos. There are communities uh, in the islands, there are communities in New York, there are, com there are communities in the continental areas of the Caribbean who identify as, let's say, Tainos or identify as uh, indigenous, uh, indigenous peoples. So the notion, and plus there's the DNA research that has been conducted. Uh, you know, it, identity is a very individual uh, exercise and you have to respect that, right? And so to the extent that we have people who are identifying themselves uh, as being indigenous from of Caribbean descent and to the extent that the DNA research exists and to the extent that the archeological uh, record also uh, is, is very much uh, intact in some places, uh, you know, we have to look at this issue, what, what that means against the backdrop of supposed extinction, and, and, uh, and look at it from, again, to repeat, from a variety of perspectives, and then present an exhibition and correlative educational and public programs and a, and a robust web presence that really tell a, a different uh, story about this first encounter and the peoples who inhabited um, this region, who historically we've known uh, little about or even cared about.